Okay, so today we are going to be solving questions on areas of shapes, areas of triangle, rectangle, and um, circles. Um, you are going to be expecting some of these questions in your exams, and I want you to pay attention as we go through several of the questions. Now, question um, the first question says the figure below represents a quarter of a circle center O. The radius of the circle is 7 C. Now, the question says what is the area of the shaded part? Now, we want to find the area of this shaded part. Now, the full shape, this is called, this is called a sector. Okay, so I want you to know that the area of the sector is given as um, theta over 360 times pi r squared. Now, what is theta? Theta is actually the angle. Now, because of this shape here, we know that here is what? 90 degree. So, whenever you have this the shape like this, you know that that's what a 90 degree. Now, to get the area of the segment, we say the area of segment or shaded portion, shaded portion will be area of sector. Now, when we subtract the triangle, if you cut out this triangle from the full shape, you will get the shaded portion. So, minus area of triangle. Okay, so now we know that we cannot apply what's our area of sector. Now the angle is 90 over 360 times pi is 22 over 7 times our radius is 7 times 7. That's 7 squared minus. Now the area of our triangle, this is what half base times height. So this is going to be half multiplied by. Now the base of my triangle, it's going to be 7 cm. So multiply by 7. Multiply by the height, which is still what? 7. So here, 90 can go. This is 1. This is going to give me 4. Now, 4 can go here. This is 1. Four, um, four. 2 here is 2. 2 here is going to be 11. And 7 cancel out 7. So we have um, 11 times 7 over 22. That will give us 77 over 2 minus. Now, here we're going to get um, 49. 7 times 7 is 49 over 2. So the LCM 77 minus 49, we're going to get, uh, this is going to give us 8, 6 minus 4, that's um, 28 over 2, and that's going to give us um, 14. So 14 times 2, that's 14 cm squared. So as easy as that, you can solve the question. So you can see from here, the correct answer is going to be B, and I'm going to circle my B. Okay, so let's check out the other question now if this is your first time of coming to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more topic videos from us now this question says what is the area of square garden whose perimeter is 116 meters now it says a square garden now, this is our square garden now remember each side of the square they are all equal and the formula for perimeter is L plus L plus L plus L. And that's what? Okay. That's going to give us 116 cm. Okay. So now we know that this is going to give us 116 cm. That's L plus L plus L is 4L. That's 116 cm. Therefore, L, which is one of the sides, is going to give us 116 divided by 4. And that's going to give us 4 into 11. We're going to get 2. Remember, 3, 4 into 36 is um, 9, that's 9 meters, okay? So now we know the side. Now to get the area, area will be L times L, which is 29 times 29. So multiplying 29 by 29, 9 times 9 is 81, carry 1, put, um, carry, put 1, carry your 8, 9 times 2 is going to be 18, plus 8 now that's going to give us 261 okay that's 26 so 2 times 9 is 18 we write our 8 and carry our 1 2 times 2 is going to give us 4 plus 1 that's um, 5 so we're going to get 1 6 plus 8 that's 14 so we have our 4 and um, carry our 1 so we have 841 so this is going to give me 841 meter square and you can see the correct answer here it's going to be c so as easy as that you can play around the areas of this shape 
So sometimes the questions are not really direct, so you have to play around them to be able to get your answer. Now this question says the height of an isosceles triangle, now let's draw an isosceles triangle. Remember, the two sides of an isosceles triangle are equal. So this side is not equal. So it's 4 cm. So it says the height, so the height is 4, 4 cm. Then each of the side measures 5 cm. drawn our isosceles triangle. So what is the area of our triangle? Now notice this side is going to be 90 degrees. So we have to find this side. So from here to here. So let's find here. So this is x. Okay, so um, now with that, we can now bring out our triangle and form a Pythagoras theorem. So this is um, x, this is 4, and this is um, 5. So applying a Pythagoras theorem, x squared plus 4 squared is going to be equal to 5 squared. So x squared is going to be 5 squared minus 4 squared. Now we have our x squared to be 25 minus 16. And our x squared is going to give us that should give us uh, the difference is going to be 9 and x is going to be square root of 9 which is going to give us what, 3. Okay, so now we know that this side is equal to 3. That means the total length here is going to be 6 because here to here will still give us 3. Okay, so now we know what our triangle looks like. We can now apply to find the area of our triangle. Area will be half times base times height which is going to be half times, now the total base is 6 times the height which is 4. So 2 is going to cancel out 2 and we have 6 times 12, we have 12 cm squared. So as easy as that, you can see, um, you can attempt most of these questions, you can play around them. Now the next question says the perimeter of a rectangle, okay, now we're playing with a rectangle. Now, this is our rectangle. The perimeter is 24. The length of the rectangle is 2 cm more than the width. Now, if the length, if the width is x, then our length is going to be 2 plus x. Because that's what it says. It says the length of the rectangle is 2 cm more than the width. So now it says the perimeter is 24. Now you know the meaning of perimeter. So here is going to be x and here is going to be 2 plus x. Now, perimeter is the sum of the total sides, which means x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 2 plus x is going to give us 24. So, x plus x is 2x plus x is 3x plus x is 4x. So, this is 4x plus 4 is equal to 24. So, collecting like terms, we have 4x is equal to 24 minus 4. 4x is going to give us 20 and x is going to give us 20 divided by 4 and that's 5. So now we know our x is equal to 5, we can now say um, this place 2 plus x is going to give us 2 plus 5, that would be 7, here's 5, here's 5, and here's 7. So our, our area, our area for rectangle will be length times width, which is now 7 times 5, and that's what? 35 cm squared. So you can see our answer here. It's correct, and the option is option C. So now it's getting more interesting. We have one more question we are going to be solving in this project. Now, this question says In a trapezium, the two parallel sides are 6 cm and 8 cm long. The perpendicular distance between the parallel side is 4 cm. What is the area of the trapezium? Now, first thing you need to do is draw your trapezium. First of all, you need to know the area of a trapezium before you can attempt this question. Now, a trapezium has one side always longer than the other side. Now, this side is 8 cm and this side is 6 cm. Now, the perpendicular height is this, that's h, which is equal to um, 4 cm from the question. Now, what is the area of a trapezium? The area is half times a plus b, that's the sum of the parallel sides, times the height. Now, what is our a and our b? Our a and our b are the two sides which have been given to us as 6 cm and 8 cm. So I'm going to put it 6 plus 8 multiplied by the height which is a 4. Now, this is going to be 
2 into here is 1, 2 into 4 is 2. So 6 plus 8 is going to give me 14 into 2. And 14 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 28 cm square. Now you can see areas of shapes are very easy to solve. It's an interesting topic. Now there are several questions you could attempt. If you also check out the description below on the um, channel, you are going to see several links to link you to more topical questions you should be expecting in your mass exam. Now, I can guarantee you if you take your time and study this, you're going to attempt several questions yourself. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to like this video and drop your comment if you have any questions for us.